It's a pretty balanced budget. You look at it from a macro perspective, the focus is to bring the deficit from 5.3% to 4.9%. So that's a very responsible budget. Uh, the budget focuses on job creation, skills, and attracting FDI to create more jobs. So it's a jobs, jobs, jobs budget itself. Only 51% of the graduates today are skilled enough to be in the workforce. And this was almost 34% 10 years ago. We made a lot of effort and progress, but I think we have to go beyond 51%, and that's where the whole uh, investment is going to take place. But more important is, is by reducing the uh, income tax on foreign companies by 5%, that's going to attract uh, multinational to come in and invest more in India. Uh, the overall objective is to bring in the current FDI from $70 billion a year to $110 billion. So we will see a substantial money coming in to uh, create more jobs. So I guess it's a balanced budget focused on job creation. You look at country like India, 65% of the population is below 35. Uh, it's important to understand almost 50% of the workforce is in agriculture sector, which is only producing 15% of the GDP. So we have to basically make the workforce more productive. We have to skill them so they can compete on a global basis. And that's why the substantial amount of funding has been put in, trying to invest and enhance the skills, setting up uh, uh, ITI, setting up other centers so people are work ready and are productive on day one once they graduate. So I think the focus is job creation, and that's what the budget is focused on. And, uh, uh, India's relationship with the US it is multifold. It's geopolitical, it's economic, it's technological, and it's people to people. Regardless of it's democratic or republican, the relationship will continue to grow substantially and stronger itself. You have 5 million Indian Americans, 1.5% of the population, uh, generating 6% of the GDP. And so their engagement in political process is very strong. Uh, you're seeing Kamala Harris, you're seeing uh, J.D. Vance's wife, Usha uh, Vance, you're seeing uh, Vivek Ramaswamy, you're seeing uh, Nikki Haley. So there is a substantial engagement of Indian American, and that's going to drive the relationship also in a positive direction. So I think regardless of who comes in, the relationship with India and the U.S. will get stronger day by day.